Greetings, Saberites, and learners in exile. One thing that I think comes up a lot is um, when people are getting into this stuff who have zero um, experience in other sword arts or in any other martial arts or, or anything like that, is uh, when we're practicing the first Dulan and the first accelerations is the side strike and the proper follow through. Um, and this is where that follow through really comes in handy and because it trains proper technique and all that kind of thing. Um, one of the things that it does train, as we said in a previous video, is edge alignment. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of times what we see is when people go in through the strike is letting their wrists break and kind of letting the, the, the saber swing back like this. Like that, okay. And so you end up in kind of a position like this here. And it's not a fantastic position for your hands. Right? <clears throat> Generally speaking, what, what I have been taught and what I know a lot of my friends and people from other arts have been taught is that the edge, as it goes through, goes through straight. So we're here. And it's only at the end of the strike, the follow through, which can be anywhere from here to here, depending on the angle of, of your hilt. But we don't generally, we generally want to take the back hand to the back hip, right? If we go here, then we're not quite getting enough follow through, which is okay. I mean, we can do a shorter type of strike here, right? But if we're going for that side strike, part of it is this follow through, okay? And the important thing about that also, other than edge alignment, as it comes here, when it gets to here, you can then turn it out and move in through sarlacc sweeps, that kind of thing. But keeping this straight through here is going to keep your body involved in it, and you're not going to get very army with your, with your slashes. If I keep both of my hands in the saber, I keep them right in front of me, and I keep this position that I see here, right, right in my sight, when I take this down, the edge comes through the target and it goes down to there. Now I'm holding it here like this, okay? <clears throat> um, some people will complain maybe about this back wrist, right? If you have it too far forward, yes, you can get into a position where you're kind of going like this, but generally speaking, this hand isn't really producing a whole lot of force, it's pretty much adding this kind of thing. So the wrist of the back hand, not a huge concern. It's the wrist alignment of the front hand right there. But if you watch, as I come through this, my saber kind of just crosses my center line. It's already at, my, at this hip, right? So what I have to do is I have to turn my whole body to bring it the rest of the way, okay? If I allow my hands to do this, I don't have to turn, right? Now that can be conducive in orbiting and stuff like that, but when we want the strike, if I'm even doing orbiting like this, the strike, as it comes around here, will stop here and bring that edge all the way through, okay? So that's the important thing there. We really, really wanna get good body through these strikes. And the best way to do it is by not allowing our hands and arms to move kind of too far to the side of our body like that, and rather bring it around like that. <clears throat> so when I'm here and I go like this, okay, I can have this here, I can have it here, I can have it here, all right? I can even have it like this, okay? There's all kinds of different variations. What I don't want is I don't want my hands crossed like this. Not, not a great position to be in. Plus, it allows me to uh, cheat that movement and not get enough body movement into it. So I'm right here. Now, obviously, in Chicho, what we're going to do from this point is we're going to push forward with the saber and then around, right? So it behooves you not to have the saber like this because you're about to move it up like that. And that brings in a little bit more telegraphic that way. Yeah. 
Okay, so basics on an overhead downward strike, what we call a side or an honor sash. This, important things. Power comes from the shoulders, from the waist, from the legs. Sink your weight into the strike. Right? Push this back leg into the ground. Drive your shoulder forward. Boom. Right? That will train your body mechanics in a gross, large, easy to understand fashion. And then that will translate to all of your smaller moves. So when you want to do an effective cut in, that, in this range and not have to do the follow through, you're going to have your body behind it, even if it's just a little bit. All right, so a little bit of advice to people who are kind of new to this whole thing. It can be daunting at times. So uh, good luck with your training. Uh, I hope to see many more of your videos. And uh, have a good day, and happy savory.